I'm used to what people think when they see me on the street. Big guy, big mustache, big trouble. If they find out I took up boxing in my later years, they think it even more. But it wasn't a boxing hero who taught me to keep my mitts up, to fight for what's right. I'm Andy Mangles from Portland, Oregon, and... And I'm one of the world's biggest Wonder Woman collectors. Wonder Woman first appeared in comics in late 1941, and she's appeared continuously in the last 70 years in comics, in books, and in thousands of pieces of merchandise. I first encountered the adventures of Wonder Woman when I was a kid in the 1970s on Super Friends, in the comics, and in the great 1975 to 1979 Linda Carter TV show. That's when my Wonder Woman collection obsession began. Over the last three decades, I've amassed an enormous collection of items, a fraction of which are on display in my dining room office. Unlike many collectors who specialize in toys or comics or art, I collect all Wonder Woman items. I've got a few thousand of her comics, including issues from the 1940s to the present, and books from England, Germany, Russia, South America, and even Greece. I do specialize in material from the TV series, with hundreds of stills, animation, art, scripts, behind-the-scenes material, and even film prints. And I've gotten to meet and interview Linda Carter multiple times. The prize of my collection is definitely my Wonder Woman mannequin, which was custom-made. My husband sewed the costume from patterns made from the original costume, and the mannequin was painted by guys who worked for the Smithsonian. Linda Carter's son even told her once that she should get one just like it. I also produce a yearly charity event every October called Wonder Woman Day and now Women of Wonder Day. It's raised over $136,000 in three states for domestic violence charities and the mayor of Portland has recognized it for five out of the last six years. So what makes a big tough guy like me so obsessed with Wonder Woman? It's because of what she stands for. She was created by William Moulton Marston, a psychologist, and she stands for truth love, and equality for everyone. She wasn't created out of trauma or accident like most other superheroes. She chose to be a champion. Instead of jailing her villains, she reforms them. And her lasso makes everyone tell the truth. Imagine what politics today would be like if that were true. A few years ago, I had the stars from Wonder Woman's Amazon bracelets tattooed on my wrists. It wasn't a drawing, but a concept. Wonder Woman's bracelets protected her, but were worn by all the Amazons as a symbol of strength and unity and pride as well. Every time I throw a punch in the boxing ring or put out a hand to help someone, my tattoos reveal that I am now a part of my own collection obsession. The ideals of Wonder Woman, truth, love, and equality for everyone are with me all the time, and that's pretty wonderful.